This video is showing the basics of milking a cow, and as always, you can find out more at RaisingCoonCoons.com. This is just my milk stand. It's nothing fancy. I like the fact that it's got a roof over the top so that it, when it rains I don't get wet. But um, it's got some screws that hold. There's my feed bucket that I'm going to feed the cow with whenever she gets in there. That's my milk bucket with a cheesecloth for filtering the milk as I milk. Those are some bowls in case I have to send my son up to get some extra feed if it takes a little longer than usual or if she gets to eating faster. There's the trough that she eats out of and where I hook her to. The shovel is for the days where she gets a little ornery and decides she's going to poop. <laughs> then I can just scrape it off and keep it clean. And then there's my wash bowl at the bottom for washing her off. This is just showing you what it looks like with her in it. She's wondering what I'm doing and where the feed is. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is wash her off. It usually just takes a quick uh, wipe down with a wet rag. I'm just getting any dirt and mud off of her. I'll do the teats first and flip the rag over and a few times. And I'll also give her a general scrub like this just to make sure there's no hard pieces of dirt or mud that can drop into the milk bucket. So the next thing I do is oil up my hands with peanut oil or olive oil, whatever I've got. I adjust her legs and then I'm going to take some milk out, just a few squirts on each teat to clear out the milk ducts. And I bring the bucket in and then I'm going to start milking. I One thing you can't see in the picture is I do lean the handle up against my leg in case I have to grab at it real fast uh, if she kicks, but she doesn't hardly ever kick. I'm just saying that's just kind of something I do as a precaution. As far as milking goes, there are a couple different methods. Um, one, what I do most of the time is right here what you're seeing called the strip method. And that's just kind of where you pinch the teats between your thumb and your forefinger and you pull down. I just like that better most of the time. Um, it's easier, especially when she's got a full udder like she does right here. And also it depends on the size of the teats of your cow. But you can also do like what I'm doing right here, which is the whole hand method is what I call it. And the thing you want to make sure of if you do this is that you are squeezing top to bottom your fingers in succession one at a time so that the milk is always going in a downward motion and not back up into her udder because that'll be very uncomfortable for her and she might kick at you a little bit. But uh, the front teats are usually longer than the back teats and so if you're going to do the whole hand method, at least in my experience with my cows that I've always milked, that's how it's always been. But uh, if you are going to use the whole hand method, you're probably going to do it on the front teats more than the back teats. And here I just move to the back once the front is kind of gone down a little bit and I, then I milk out the back. And all that that you're seeing looks like steam is part of its spray from the cheesecloth and the milk that I'm spraying into it and then part of it's just because it's a cold day and uh, the milk is warm and so there's a little bit of steam coming off but that's what that is. Here's just another view, kind of my view of what I'm seeing whenever I'm milking her. And uh, there's no right or wrong way as far as you can do the front two, you can do a front one and a back one, just whatever is easiest and whatever is giving you milk at the time uh, to make it more comfortable for you. Just as long as you're getting milk, you're doing it right. Here I'm just wanting to show you what it looks like when she's about done being milked. It's not necessarily because her udder is empty. She just may be holding back for the calf that's still about to nurse. Um, you're doing exactly what you've been doing. You're just not getting as much milk out or you'll squeeze and you just won't get any milk out. If you want to continue trying to get as much as you can out, you can do what I'm doing here and punch up at her udder. And that just kind of simulates what a calf does when they want her to let down. Um, you can also see I'm using her milk to keep my hands lubricated. That's what I do instead of re-oiling after I've oiled for the first time. You can see that I'm able to get some more milk out and there's other things that you can do as well which I'm about to show you. One of them is you can massage the udder and that'll cause her to let down. Um, another thing that I'm about to show you is you can do the strip method but really reach up into her udder as much as possible and pull down and you're about to see that here in the next frame. But what I've also done in the past is let the calf in and let him nurse for a few minutes and when you do that that'll really let her or have her let down and that's where you're going to get a substantial amount more milk and 
pretty much double your cream content is if you can get that milk that she saves up for the calf. So after bringing it inside, I just remove the cheesecloth, get my jars ready, and pour it in. Put it in the fridge, put the date on it, put it in the fridge, and you've got yourself some farm fresh milk.